So, Carl, you're an engineer. Actually, I'm a fifth-generation engineer. Uh, we invented lots of things. Uh, for example, an automatic walking stick, a flying umbrella, or a self-steering boot horn. Unfortunately, none of these innovations were a big success. But this time, it's going to be a breakthrough. We still need people for our crew. Couldn't you join us as a rigger? Well, Amanda told me you would take me and my prototype to New York. New York? That's what she said. Yes, she said you were going to New York anyway. Or did I get that wrong? Oh, you mean New York. <laughs> I thought you said Newark. Of course we can drop you off there. Oh, in that case. Well, my prototype is in a crate on the docks, right next to the Umbati Corporation warehouse. Excellent. I load it on board. Very good, but please be careful. This prototype is unique and awfully expensive. It is my life's work. Oops. I hope nobody saw that. Be careful, Jack. What's wrong now? Just don't damage my prototype. Yeah, and now a little here. Perfect. Be careful, Jack. I think that's the right spot. Looks good, Jack. I'll detach the crates from the crane. All right. Right, Carl. This should be it. Yes, I have a few more things to take care of, but in principle, I'm ready to leave. Jack, why do we have to drag that Eve around with us? I don't like it. We can't leave her here by herself, can we? Probably not. At least not when there's a riot starting. How about this? You try and find out how she can make herself useful. Either she pays for her passage or she helps us in some way. At least that's what I think. If she refuses to pay and has nothing else to offer, I don't want to have her on board. Fine, I'll talk to you. Please, Jack, I can't stay here. I need to get on your ship. I just talked it over with my crew. So, what did they say? We're traveling to Africa, non-stop. You're aware of that? Africa? That's fantastic! I'm a photographer. I've always wanted to go there. I might even become a famous wildlife photographer. Do you have money to pay for your passage? I'm freelance. I have times when I make lots of money, and times when I make nothing at all. Like now, for example. So, no. I'm sorry, but you can't come with us. But there must be some way I can help you. Dancing? So the crew can watch? Better not. I learned to dance in the Moulin Rouge in Paris. When I was younger. Oh, those were wild times. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bore you with tales of days gone by. Hmm, too bad. Singing sea shanties? So the crew can listen? Oh, I'm sorry. All the sea shanties I know aren't suitable for young ears. And it wouldn't do for lonely sailors to hear them while traveling with a lady like me. The sailors are just Amanda and me. And perhaps Carl. Even so, 
You can't imagine the impact those songs would have on you. Okay, so don't sing them. Scrubbing the deck so we won't keep slipping? Scrub the deck? No way. That's a job for a maid. Fishing so we can have something to eat? Oh, yuck. I don't like fish. Well, only fried in lemon sauce. And I've never touched a fishing rod in my life. Looks like you can't assist us then. Oh, wait a second. I know what I could do. I'm an excellent navigator. Too bad. We already have Amanda as navigator. And is she good? Well, you know, she keeps confusing starboard and port, so sometimes our trips take a little longer, like a week or two. Terrific. So now your ship has a new navigator. Uh, Amanda will be absolutely thrilled. I mean, what has Eve got to offer? She could be our new navigator. Oh, that's very... Wait a minute! We've already got a navigator! Me! But you keep confusing port and starboard. Mm, you may have a point. I'm a lousy navigator. It's probably a good idea if somebody else takes over. Okay, so she's part of the crew. And now we should get going. By the way, where did you dig up that remarkable guy? What's his name again? Carl? He's not that remarkable. Just pretty unusual. And I didn't dig him up. He just followed me. And do you find him... handsome? <sighs> Jack, please. I really like chatting with him. You, on the other hand, woke up in the bed of another woman. Just think about it. You know, about that remarkable car. He's not that remarkable. And do... <laughs> you! Have you got anything else that could help us? Well, you already took all my Chinese money. All I've got left is this stamp. It looks highly official. If you want to believe a blind drunkard. Well, ex-blind drunkard now. Oh, did he stop drinking? He must have. Here, take the stamp. Please, and throw it away. See you later. An old, slightly rotten pan, but it's made from good wood. No strike, but they could be here at any moment now. Two arms! Ah! The one who defeated the harbor master. What can we do for you? I found out why the amulet's glowing. And now I've got to get out of here. How nice for you. We'd like to get out of here too. But we must fight for our rights, and our money. How can we end the strike? You know, the Ambati Corporation pays us a pathetic pittance for our hard work. So we complained. But instead of listening to us, they simply stopped paying us altogether. They said that no one's allowed to complain to Mr. Ambati. And now Umbati wants an official apology. But we are not going to apologize. We want our money. Who's that guy talking to the harbor master? He belongs to Mr. Umbati. And he's not really known for being tactful, if you get my drift. And in the unlikely case that Umbati won't give you the money, I'm sure they are planning to attack us any moment. They are well armed, and we have nothing but clubs and empty beer bottles. Yes, but we've got Rolf. Rolf? The certified zookeeper? Yes, he's a brilliant strategist. But Rolf simply refuses to leave. I told you, there are animals present. No animals must be endangered in case of attack. The gorilla? Couldn't you take him somewhere where he'll be safe? 
Once the battle begins, he won't be safe anywhere. He would only be safe on a ship. Sounds simple enough. The gorilla boards the ship, Umbati's henchmen get what's coming to them, and we set sail. Nine! I can't leave this part of the harbor, because a battle would start and the gorilla would be in the middle of it. You see, we're trapped, and there's no way out. Couldn't you take the gorilla to safety in some ship? A ship? That won't work. I'm sorry. Why not? Because I get seasick. Seasick? A dock worker? What kind of reason is that? Yeah, if you don't believe me, look at this. An official health certificate for my doctor. I could take the gorilla back to Africa. So, you're going to help us, huh? Will you join our team? Um, that's not what I meant, actually. We need every hand. Here, a worker's cap. For what? So we'll know not to bash your skull when things get rough. In that case, the blue cap looks stylish. Fine. Here, take it. Good to know you're on our side. Huh? No help with a gorilla, but at least I now own a dirty old hat. I'll be back. Hmm, he seems to be angry because I ruined his book. Ah, I remember now. I've still got the pages from the gorilla's book. I told you, there are animals present. I'm oh, a certified so he wants these super. pages back. Eh? Their safety must be my I first priority. them to lure him to my ship. Oh, really? And what about our safety? I fastened one of the pages to the clipboard. <laughs> and another page. Will this confuse the dockers? I told you, animals present. I'm concerned. I hope this whole strike will be over soon. They won't be striking for much longer. Please. The delivery note says banana shipment. This might cause some confusion. <laughs> I hope this whole strike... Hey! What are you doing? They won't be striking for much longer. It's you, again. If I had to take another crew member aboard? No one gets through unless the person is essential. A cook, for example? You haven't got a cook yet, have you? This fellow here, he's my cook. Regulations say that a cook must wear working clothes, bring cooking equipment, and a cookbook. And of course, he needs an official certificate of good health. These guys are pretty tough. Ah, don't worry, we've got plenty of arms. All they have is love. Now he looks as civilized as he actually is. In a Shanghai prison, I had to carve hundreds of giraffes from old and bits anything of wood. that moves. This I think we've together with enough. that looks good. Hmm, nice spoon. But the last one was a bit better. Although that time I did use up a whole tree. I hope so too. And I hope it's in a safe place. A hat and a spoon. Et voila. A chef. As soon as we know how to deal with the workers, you can that show works. me. I hope the delivery will meet my I think it would be better to give this certificate oh, to the harbor master personally. Quite a lot. The gorilla might eat it. Since we then are. we'd have a problem. A health certificate with a strange stamp. It looks official. All right, I can accept it. I know I asked before, but let me ask again. Where did you get that black eye? It's you, again. As I said, this is my cook. The gorilla? Well, he's got equipment, all right. But I really don't know. That's ridiculous. On the other hand, all the conditions are met. 
and he even has a valid health certificate. Congratulations. Your crew is complete. I must say, I'm amazed that you actually... I hope this... Uh, that looks like... Just like a chef? How odd. Now, Jack, what is this about? Uh, ladies, I give you the new cook of the Charming Princess. Ugh, oh, good grief. Now he's completely bananas. must be taken to a safe place. Yes, you idiot. Take me there now. What is happening there? Are they getting ready to attack? I'll find out what they're intending to do. What is happening there? Are they getting ready to attack? Now the girl is gone. Will you attack? I guess we'll have to. It's going to be chaos. Some of us will not survive. We must fight for our rights and for the rights of all workers everywhere. Perhaps it can still be avoided somehow. Either they pay us, or we fight. Let's see what can be done. See? Perfect. That's what I had in mind. It's quite a lot. Yeah, we squeezed the workers pretty hard. Now let's get this stuff out of here. Of course. But before we go, we should make sure that everything's there. Hey, there's nothing to see here. I don't like people who snoop around. I have to distract them if it's I want even to more closer since to the I could use some help. Wow, well done, Jack. Any idea how we can distract the two of them? Um, why do we want to do that? I'd like to know what they're guarding. Whatever it is, Maybe it'll help us end this strike. I see. And what do you want me to do? Oh, come on. You're good looking. Just use your charms. Uh, all right. If you think I can do it, I'll give it a try. Yeah. But, Jack, I'm probably better at this. I know. You mean I don't know how to be nice to people? Jack, I hope you'll tell her otherwise. I think Amanda should do it. I have complete trust in her. That's right. You can rely on me. As always. I don't care. Hey, boys. I'm looking for folks I can talk to about tough business like drinking and weapons. Sure thing, Fräulein. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, what's up? Oh, isn't that an 1895 Winchester? Damn right. Wow, so much money. I'm rich. This must be the money the Ulbati Corporation is keeping from the workers. I should use it wisely. Impressive. Oh, but that's a .405 caliber. Oh, guess the buffalo would be minus a... Sorry, but I need to leave now. Catch you folks later. Ha, ah, what a nice lady. <clears throat> and now, back to... It's gone! The shipment for Umbati! I'm a dead man. And so are you. Me? But I already handed it over to you. If anyone gets in trouble, it should be you. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Maybe, if I give the empty money cases, he won't notice. And in the meantime, I can squeeze the money out of someone else. I'm sure I can raise it again. Uh, you know what, Harbor Master? I've got to run. Fast. But the strike. I don't care. And neither should you. Because you're fired. Oh.
Gentlemen, I give you Umbati's money. Our money? <laughs> it's here! Umbati finally gave up! Well, not really. Actually, it's me who... The strike is over! We can go back to work! And, and I must say, the Umbati Corporation has offered us a pretty penny. But they could be furious when they next show up. Jack, we are in your debt. Is there anything we can do for you? You know, my ship is still moored. We'll take care of that. Okay, Jack. Your ship is free now. Thank you. Now we can continue our journey. Wait. We want to ask you something. After this whole business, we decided to found a group that will promote our interests. We are going to call it a union. Right. But we need a strong leader. And you did extraordinarily well. Could you imagine yourself becoming our leader? We believe you are up to the responsibility. Responsibility? Leader? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just not my cup of tea. But you've already proved you can do it, so why not? We've really got to leave now. Carl, is the ship ready? So what are we going to do now without the leader? I would say it's payday! Of course this is the way to New York. Jack, we're sick and tired of eating bananas. Talk to the gorilla right now. I talked to the cook. Naturally, he'll continue to serve bananas. Jack, uh, could you come here for a moment? We have company. What the devil? Mr. Keene, you can probably guess who I am. And the large logo on your Zeppelin is impossible to overlook. Mr. Umbati. Professor Umbati, if you please. I was given an honorary degree from the University of Calcutta. Which you founded? Because I am a man who treasures knowledge and titles. Let's get down to business. You have an amulet. I would pay you an adequate price for it. I abhor armed violence and only use it as a last resort to achieve my objectives. I am a man who loves to negotiate. The amulet is worth an awful lot. That's what I think. Hmm. Good point. Wow. That's at least three... No, four. This will buy you the biggest ship you can imagine, Mr. King, and allow you to get rid of this miserable heap of junk including the rats and lice. Jack! What do you say, Mr. King? That's all you have to offer. Apparently you're not easily convinced. <laughs> I like that. So, what do you say to this? Oh, oh, this must be at least... Wait, let me see. This would be enough to buy you the entire Royal Navy. And every single ship would be better than this worm-riddled hulk. And they'd smell better too. But this is my last offer. My time is precious, and this is the maximum I will invest. So what do you say? Death? Or this? None of the above, you arrogant snob. 
The amulet is mine, and you'll never get your paws on it. I had been warned that you were a fool, that you're even worse than your reputation. If that's your answer, then I'll just take the amulet, and you get nothing. Let's go. I've wasted enough time here. The deal is off, and your ship is sinking. Great. We traveled all the way to Africa, and now we've lost the amulet to Ambati. Don't worry, Amanda. We still have the map from my dream. We can get back into the huh. race with that. Terrific prospects. Just trust me. Okay, Amanda. It seems to fit. Jack, what are you doing? Where are you going? What do you think? The next part of the amulet's waiting, and we must find an octopus. You must be joking! Umbati has our amulet! Why would we look any further? We cannot allow Umbati to get the other parts as well. Everything we did so far would have been for nothing. Jack is right. We shouldn't give up now. But we haven't the slightest idea where we should look. An octopus is a lousy clue. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but this really is an octopus habitat. Well, perhaps I'm imagining things, but I feel this funny tingle in the spot where I used to wear the amulet. So either we're bound to find something here, or you need to take me to the nearest hospital. A funny tingle? I never doubted your abilities. Right! We must find the octopus from my dream, before Umbati does. Ugh, oh, very well. But now we may be close to the right place. All we're missing is the octopus. That's all? We'll never find an octopus in the Nile. Perhaps your dream wasn't about a real, live octopus. Jack, did you see other things in your dream too? Mm, yes. There were some stone tablets with simple drawings. One of them was this Egyptian beetle, I believe. A scarab. Those beetles were depicted everywhere in ancient Egypt, in temples, on obelisks, all over the place. Impossible! Jack, take a closer look at the obelisk. An obelisk? Where? You're standing on it. It may be a bit hard to recognize with all these roots wrapped around it, like tentacles. Eve, Amanda, you're both geniuses. And I knew we'd find it. That must be a huge coincidence. From a zoological point of view, this looks more like a squid, not an octopus. I think it comes close enough. So, shall we? Well, that should be pretty obvious. I'm still not convinced that this thing is an octopus. A long and sturdy branch. I can't pull the stupid pineapple out with my bare hands. This pineapple is really hard. I can't remember if that means it's ripe or not. The bananas are hanging too high. The entrance to the cave is closed. This plate can't be moved with muscle power alone. 
an eye and other small symbols. Hmm. Maybe they mean we're watching you or something like that. Plants cover most of the symbols, but I wouldn't understand them. I can see some sort of bird, but I can't imagine what it means. Having a torch ready is important on any ship. Hey, why the long face? Oh, you want more bananas so you can continue to cook a variety of dishes for us. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Is there anything more functional than a bucket? Patigate, Patigate, Baker's man. There's plenty of it. He doesn't really approve of me wanting the banana oil. Anyway, I think he's grumpy because we're out of bananas. <laughs> the oil is the only banana-based item we have on board now. Perhaps he'll give it to me if I give him some more bananas. A burned-out torch is as useful as a monkey owning a port. Now the torch is lit and can be used. I just have to be careful not to set fire to the ship. Hmm, we seem to have a problem. Oh, I'm totally surprised. What is it? The entrance to the cave's blocked. There's no way to get past, unless we use the ship's cannon. The one remaining cannon, Amanda. You know, I had to sacrifice one in Shanghai. Otherwise, you'd still be wasting away in prison. Whatever, but how do I get the cannon to work? <sighs> how am I supposed to know? Since when am I an expert on naval artillery? You definitely need gunpowder, ammunition, and of course, a burning fuse. And I guess you'll need some sort of tool for packing down the powder, but I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on old technology. A regular cannonball. Nothing unusual. Hey, I bought those in Shanghai for New Year's Eve. I'll open the fireworks carefully to get at the gunpowder. I hope I don't strike any sparks. It's been a while since I last prepared a cannon to be fired. Before this adventure, I didn't have much time for carving. Now there are lots of opportunities. Why spend money on an expensive ramrod when you're a genius? Ah, the perfect improvised ramrod. I 
I only need a little piece of the fuse. I've got a good feeling that everything's ready now. Let's choose a target to shoot at. Oops, that wasn't my intention. I don't know, Jack, but somehow you seem to attract this kind of mishap. Well, <laughs> problems are there to be solved. I'm sure we can reach the cave some other way, which is now open. Just thought I'd mention it. All right, I know how to ready the cannon. I'll put the powder in the fuse here if I need to fire it again. There should be enough cannonballs for a few shots. Incredible. I hit the banana tree without reducing it to firewood. Great shot, Jack. Shooting at a banana tree. That has a familiar ring to it, but why? What do you think? I can't imagine anyone doing anything this crazy before. <laughs> I thought a column that's thousands of years old would be a little more resilient. Perhaps no one will notice. If you cannot even show respect for the monuments of ancient couches, I now have an explanation for the state of your ship. I'd say sorry if it weren't for... Now we have access to the cave again. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices. Oh, even more bananas. I'm really starting to get sick of them. <laughs> ah, you can smell the bananas in my pockets, right? Fine. Take them and prepare one of your incomparable lunches. <laughs> what is it? Your hat's too tight. Three injured hikers by the old oak tree. Oh, is that it? You fixed me something to eat. What? You're talking about bananas? Oh, you really mean bananas. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe later. Oil made from bananas. Look out, Greece. How much longer will you corner the market with your oils? Here we go. No matter what awaits us inside. Hey, come on. Let's take a closer look at the cave. Next time, would you please refrain from destroying the only path? I'll try to do better next time I fire an ancient cannon. Ugh, oh, this is exhausting. Probably your shoes. Well, I'm not surprised that you feel right at home here. Uh, I should have brought the gorilla instead. Replacing Amanda with a gorilla would certainly improve the overall manners of our group. I just remembered why bringing women on board is bad luck. Carl, what's taking you so long? We'd better be done here before our only torch burns out. I'm sorry, I just had something to take care of. Here I am now! All right then, follow me. It 
It's so dark here. Are you scared? Just a little bit. Not you, Carl. Jack, could you walk a little more slowly with that torch? Be quiet a moment. What an impressive cave. So large and beautiful. Look, there's a bridge over there. Watch out, everyone. There's a chasm right in front of us. Obviously, humans have been here before, ages ago. Wow, you figured that out all by yourself. You must have had some scouts among your ancestors. My ancestors tamed the western frontier. What did you tame? Your fingernails? Amanda is right. These hieroglyphs were written in a very ancient dialect. They're not easy to decipher. Carl, you can read Egyptian hieroglyphs? Sure. I broke a leg when I was 12 and had to stay at home for a few weeks. My father had this book about hieroglyphs. I also learned some Greek and Sumerian. A man who uses his free time to broaden his horizon? Now that is rather impressive. Weird. Interesting. I haven't seen hieroglyphs like these in quite a while. So you learned ancient languages whenever you got bored? Yes, and I experimented on dolls. Just uh, for scientific purposes, of course. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really want to know that. What is the meaning of that symbol? Well, the I stands for to see, of course. And this one? That's complicated. Give me a moment. Amazing. Even you can't think of something for once. Women. Beware if you're in this cave with them. Carl, you're beginning to scare me. No, 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 it's what it says here. If you see a woman in this cave, beware! But there's more. Okay, go on. This symbol means darkness. And the one over there? Something like the wear of icky slime on the ground, perhaps. Can you translate this? Shh! Did you hear that funny noise, too? Hey, take it easy. They're only bats. No reason to panic so far. Where's Carl? Um, over here. Have you lost something, Master of Hieroglyphs? I, I hate bats. Once, when I was little, I got stuck in an old well. It was full of them. It's all right, Carl. Back home at the ranch, we were wary of them, too. How odd. I would have sworn that back at the ranch, you'd have shot at anything that moves. We barely ever shoot anything for no good reason, Eve. Unless we're severely provoked. Wait a minute. Was that a threat? Make of it what you will. Jack, I will not march through a cloud of bats. And I'm not gonna have Amanda threaten me. Bats are small and completely harmless. No one's ever been hurt by a bat. Why do you look so nervous? Great scientist, you're afraid of bats? It is called chiroptophobia, and it is no fun at all. My father sent me to a good therapist. His name was Sigmund. Another miracle worker failed, huh? Well, Mr. Boyd helped me with a lot of other problems that I am not going to discuss. Now that we've got to work together, maybe you should tell us what else you're afraid of, so we don't accidentally frighten you to death. Eve, what's your problem? Men ought to show their true feelings more often. In that case, you can play the man in your relationship. 
Shut up, Eve. And Carl, just think of something other than a swarm of horrid bats. Bats? Bats everywhere. Why, oh why didn't I listen to my father?